This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. We're going to show you some more cool text effects. This is pretty simple. It's going to be using a clipping mask. Here I just have a picture. I'm going to come over and get my text tool. Click on my text tool and come out here and click. And I'm going to make this all in caps. In this case, I'm going to type in baby. Do a control T to make this much larger. And that was probably a bad color choice. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'll just double click on this T here. Choose a different color. In this case the color is not important because we're going to end up filling the background. We're going to fill the background picture into the text. And this is great for uh, you know websites and, and logos and things like that. So here I have a large font. I like using like an impact or a rounded aerial. And so here you can see here's my text. And here's my background. I'm going to duplicate the background. I'm going to drag the background onto this icon down here uh, next to the trash can. And then I'll drag the background copy above the baby. Okay, now the next thing to do is make sure the background copy picture is selected. And I'll come up and I'll go Layer. Click on Layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. You can see it kind of moves it over and there's this little arrow. We'll pretend this text layer was a, is like a vase, like a container, and that little arrow is just dumping whatever's on to this layer into it. And I know you can't see it right now, and that's because as soon as I hide the visibility of this layer, you're going to see the effect. So I click hide, click the little eyeball, and now what I can do is click and move the picture around and place it exactly where I want to inside that text. You can kind of see it moving around, and then you can save it as a transparent like a, a ping or a tiff or even a, a gif and just have the text with the background but some of the other things you can do are um, you can always go to the text layer click on the text layer and apply a style to it for example a bevel and apply a nice little bevel to it go ahead and do a we'll emboss this one and raise the size up a little bit and soften it so you can see now I have a bevel. You can also like apply a stroke. And a stroke is just simply an outline. There we go. Now let's choose a different color, something that's a little more baby friendly, maybe a, a light blue. And there's the size there. And so you can do lots of neat effects. So what we did was we took that layer and dumped it into the bottom layer. And actually if you hid this, revealed this layer again, you get kind of a neat effect move this back into place there and you can see that uh, it creates the same type of effect as we did in the earlier tutorial except where this is most useful is hiding that background layer and then just placing the text wherever you like it and so a uh, neat, neat text tutorial and also introduces you to of course um, uh, clipping groups uh, or clipping masks and I want to show you something else if I you don't have to go to layer clipping mask you can there's a shortcut over here you just place your cursor between this layer and this layer hold down your alt key and you'll see these two little circles up here and you click and that undid that clipping mask and if again I can hold down my alt key get those two little circles and click and it applies it that's how I apply my clipping mask um, so either do that or you all like I said you can always go to layer and create clipping masks